Jasper Kirby is a particle physicist currently engaged with cloud physics research at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. In an article published in the journal Nature, Kirby reports that cosmic rays, quote, seem to enhance the production of nanometer-sized particles from the gaseous atmosphere by more than a factor of 10, unquote. He added, however, that the particles in question are far too small to serve as cloud condensation nuclei. This important excerpt from Dr. Kirby's 2009 presentation makes it clear that IPCC climate scientists are fully aware that jet aircraft are dumping aerosols into the atmosphere with the effect of deliberate climate warming. There are very, there's plenty of evidence that large regions of the climate are lacking sufficient aerosol to form clouds. Contrails are a, a well-known example of that. These are not smoke trails. These are clouds which are seeded by jets dumping aerosols into the upper atmosphere. These are clouds which are seeded by jets dumping aerosols into the upper atmosphere. But if there was a conspiracy to use jet-produced clouds to cool the atmosphere, would it work? No. The contrails that are spreading, that you can identify as contrails, those would tend to warm the atmosphere. Everything that we know about um, would say that. The contrails that are spreading, that you can identify as contrails, those would tend to warm the atmosphere. Everything that we know about um, would say that. Dr. Pinner's statement is not taken lightly by climate scientists. Her comments echo the 1999 climate change publication titled IPCC Special Report on Aviation and the Global Atmosphere. On page 17, the quote, contrails tend to warm the Earth's surface similar to thin high clouds, unquote. So jet aircraft are dumping chemical aerosols high in the atmosphere to create artificial contrails that spread into thin, high, artificial clouds that your TV meteorologist has been told to misrepresent by telling the public they're only ice crystals. Dr. Kirby's almost too casual comment confirming that jet aircraft are dumping aerosols into the atmosphere reveals that this covert geoengineering and chemtrail operation is well known by government agencies like NASA, NOAA, and the FAA the IPCC climate scientists being paid to churn out climate change propaganda, and geoengineers like David Keith, Ken Caldera, and their boss, Bill Gates. The public needs to demonstrate their outrage at this massive conspiracy of government secrecy that allows these toxins and bioweapons to rain down on global populations with impunity. We've had enough.